It's been a nearly a year since the sale of Stalco, Stalco Steel Lands, and today the investment firm says it expects shovels in the ground sometime next year. The project is slated to redevelop 800 acres of the property into a new diverse industrial park. Jason Gajola has those details. I think the size and scope and exact location of those initial phases is to be determined, but we do, we do anticipate being able to start with some real work on site next year. The company that bought 800 acres of land once owned by Stelco Steel says formal consultation with the city of Hamilton for its redevelopment is set to begin in the coming weeks. And today it unveiled another sneak peek of its future, one being dubbed as Steelport. It's an obvious name. People will get it. We think it's something that we can mold into the story that we want to show and project going forward. Slate Acid Management's Stephen de Yonkere says the property will transform into one of the largest industrial employment hubs in Canada. The project will also include public access with trails and waterfront space. Last year, the investment firm closed a deal with Stelco worth more than $500 million for more than 300 hectares of industrial land and buildings. Most of the land will be ready for industrial development and a portion will be leased back to Stelco. The senior vice president says over the next year, rezoning and other development applications need city approval. Ward 3 councillor Narinder Nan's office tells CHCH News in part, she is encouraged by what we are seeing so far in the public renderings shared today. And she is receiving updates on her desire to see pedestrian access to the water, community focused amenities and Bay Area industrial strategy recommendations. As for its impact economically, the investment firm says Steelport is slated to create up to 23,000 jobs and inject nearly $4 billion into Ontario's economy. So the long-term benefits, as I would say, they're clear and they're substantial. Uh, regarding the short-term and, and middle-term benefits, I would say clearly they are not so obvious. McMaster Professor of Economics Maxim Ivanov applauds the project, adding a diverse business centre will create more jobs and drive competition, but says current interest rates are concerned. Because clearly once it decreases, it will create additional opportunities for, for businesses and for investments. Dejanke Air says the lands will be tailored for logistics and manufacturing. So we think there will also be a lot of interest from manufacturing groups, you know, new age, clean tech manufacturing and, and others as well, more traditional manufacturing. He says promotion for potential tenants will likely begin in the summer. Jason Guidola, CHCH News, Hamilton.